I can't believe I slept on this plug-in for so long. It won't happen again. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Slant, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. You know, I know it's your favorite nappy to reducer with the fro. Back with another video on YouTube today. I want to talk about a plugin that I have been sleeping on for a long time inside of FL Studio. And I finally, like last week, started messing around with it. And I was like, bruh, why haven't I been using this more often? And the plugin I'm talking about today is Patcher. Patcher is a plugin that's inside of FS Studio that allows you to pretty much create your own patches in a sense and also kind of make your own plugins, uh, so to say. But Patcher is a very powerful plugin inside of FS Studio that I just have not used or even tried to understand because every time I see people use it or anything like that, it just looks like it looked too complicated at first. And then I was like, eh, I put up. But then one day I had a problem inside my beat, so I'm making a beat and I didn't have the plugin to do what I want to. I looked it up on the internet and, you know, saw a video about patcher and watched and kind of understood it and it was like whoa now i can do exactly what i want so i actually was able to solve my problem inside of fl studio with stock plugins using patcher and i'm like bruh i should have been learning this a long time ago but today i'm gonna make a kind of very beginner basic video talking about patcher showing off how it is i will be making more advanced tutorials about it in the future but right now i want to make kind of a very bare bones video about patchers just so you kind of get an understanding of it as well if you don't know what patcher is or if you never use patcher hopefully this video will kind of help you out so it might be a little lengthy but i'll leave time steps down below where you can just you know skip ahead and all that to where you need to come to or if you need to come back to refresh them so let's go ahead and jump inside of fs studio and check it out so here we are inside of fs studio and like i said this is a very basic video so if you are kind of a advanced user or you know a little bit about patcher this video might not be for you but this is really good for beginner people who don't know what patcher is or want to kind of understand what patcher is so they can start using it so right now i got just a little loop i got from splice just a simple little guitar loop so it's gonna be really good to kind of show off what patcher can do so this is what it sounds like so just a simple little indie rock kind of guitar loop clean sound really nice and simple so what we're gonna do is add a couple of faces kind of spruce this up while using patcher and watch how powerful patcher is now let me give you a little brief understanding of what patcher is so this is what patcher looks like when it opens up it's just a blank kind of thing and i'm gonna kind of tell you how to look at patcher so patcher basically is like it's pretend patcher is basically like this part right here it's the effects rack of any mixer channel now you know every mixer channel uh, when you put an fs studio goes from slot one down to slot 10. now what that means is the audio comes in goes into slot one then slot two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then goes out to the output basic stuff you already know that when you put it effect the next it goes into the next effect and so on and so forth now what patcher allows you to do is pretty much patch them plugins any way you want to so basically i go from one to five to five to seven nine back to three in the two to ten the one you can pretty much route stuff differently like that and you can do some pretty amazing um like routing inside of patcher and also you can add in macros or controls that allow you to control specific things or multiple uh parameters at once inside there so therefore you kind of make your own plugin inside of fs studio which i will be making a video about that probably really soon so that's basically what patcher is and that's all it is so picture patcher the best way to see patcher is modular gear you ever see them big walls of synthesizers with all them uh spaghetti you got dang cables going all the place that's basically what patcher is it can be super complicated like that or it can be super simple just having a signal go through one thing and out the other thing pretty simple so right now let's go ahead and turn on patcher and then play so when you first turn on patcher insert it you'll get no sound there's no audio replay. Even though it is playing, there's no audio because you have to route the input to the output. So this is from FS Studio 2. So that's the input output. That's all that is. So let's go ahead and route the input to the output and we should get just a regular signal by doing that. So simple as that. Now you're probably thinking, well, how do I add effects in Patcher? It's easy. We just right click, go to add a plugin, and I'm just going to add in Fruity Reverb 2. Good example, you know, we want to add some reverb this. Now, if I press play again, nothing's happening. I have to connect the input to this and the output out. So basically, like I said, you're pretty much making your own like modular gear. So basically, this would be like having it in slot one. Now, you probably think, well, why don't I just put it in there? I'm going to show you why it'd be better to put it in patcher instead of putting it over here. So now when I press play, I should have reverb on my sound. Very simple. You can, like I said, double click your plugin. You can do all the normal stuff you want to do. You can, you can change your wet, even more reverb, you know, cut it, all that good stuff. Pretty 
pretty self-explanatory stuff right there. You should already know how to use that. Now, one thing I like to do when I like to use reverbs and all plugins is make up an effects bus. Basically, what I do is I'll make a channel, make an effects bus, put my effects on there, and then route my effects back to the signal and blend the signal in. And it's kind of complicated. It's the way most DAWs work with it, but Patch makes it super ample, uh, super simple, but super simple. So basically, if I want to make an effects bus inside of Patcher, all I have to do is take the input again and drag it to the output. Then go into my Fruity Reverb, turn the dry down, and turn the wet all the way up. Now, essentially, I have a effects bus, which I can control the wet signal with this little arrow. That's like the amount of the wet signal coming out, and it's the dry signal. So now I can do some stuff like this. And if I now, here comes the cool point. If I want to just have just straight reverse sound, maybe I'm doing some sound design, or maybe I'm doing like a, a very eerie section to my song, I can take the dry signal all the way off and have nothing but just the reverse signal. And then bring, and I can bring some of the dry signal. And I just made a super simple effects bus right there inside of uh, FL Studio inside of Patcher, which is using one plugin and two cables. Now, that's like very basic, bare bones way of using Patcher, which is really cool. Let's take it a step further. In effects bus, you can also affect other plugins by using other plugins. So basically, if I put a reverb on there, I can add a chorus to that after that reverb, and it would just chorus the reverb. I can do the exact same thing in here with Patcher. So basically, I go in here, I go to Fruity Chorus because, you know, I like Fruity Chorus pretty good. All I have to do is now take this cable, route it into here, and route it back into here. Now, if I um, let me just take the dry out, I'll go ahead and make a quick little setting real quick. I'm gonna take the LFO this off, this off, that, and then we'll just have a reverby chorus effect, kind of like a lo-fi chorus effect or reverb. <laughs> I can just bring in the drive, bring in the drive back. And right there, I'm doing some super simple routing inside a patcher really fast and really quick. Like this is quicker than doing some of the effects bus and routing it back and blending it in. You have everything right here and it's a very visual thing. So if you ever seen like visual stuff like node based plugins or anything like that or softwares, it's very visual. Basically, it's just a flow chart, how the audio flows into each other and goes into it. That's all this is. So like I said, this is like a bare bones, super easy, basic understanding of Patcher. Now, what Patcher really gets really dope is when you start wanting to do stuff like, basically say you want to have a controller or you want something to control multiple effects. Say I want to actually control this LFO and del uh, delay at the same time to get, uh, like I said, just more of a course effect, you know what I'm saying? So I want to you know, kind of adjust that or automate that. You know, I could go in here, automate the old fashioned way. That takes too long. You can just make a simple controller inside of Patcher to really control that. So basically what you would do, right now we're in the map feature. The map feature is basically like the mapping, the behind the scene thing. If we go to surface, now we're going to be on the surface level of patching. I'm going to do a little kind of advanced stuff, but I'll go into more detail about it later. So let's just make a controller. So basically, I'm just going to go here. I'm going to add, add a knob, just default knob. And then we're just going to make it like this. And then we're just going to rename it and call it uh, call it Wobble because, you know, it's going to be cool. So now if I unedit it, now I have a button that's right now is linked and it's not doing nothing. It's just, you know, a button or a knob that can kind of turn all that. If I go on the surface, uh, go back to the map, now I have this red dot. Red dot are parameters, basically meaning you can control different parameters. So if I want to control these parameters, it's super simple. All I got to do is right click on it, go to activate, and then right click again, go to activate. Now, this is very basic, but you can go into some more detail with it. Now I have two buttons right here that, you know, I can link to any parameters. So I just take this parameter, link it to here, and then link it to here. Now, if I go, if I double click this and then go back to the surface, when I turn this knob, it should, like if not, I probably got to add another plugin and I'll show you. So now if I, yeah, there you go. So now if I turn that knob 
as you see, the knob is turning both of them at the exact same time with one knob. So as you can see, I'm essentially making my own preset or my own plugin FSC. So now when I press play, And then I can do the same thing, but what if I want another knob? I can just go ahead and knob, go to default, and then we'll just make another knob. And this time we'll just call this one, uh, re we'll rename this one, call this the, the Reverb DK. And then like I said, I'll make it a little bigger to kind of match that, you know, best I can. Edit, go to surface, and go back to map, and then go to FS Studio, or back to my FL Reverb. And then I want to mess with the decay, so right here and then activate it. Now I have another button right here, which if you hover over it, it also tells you up there what it is. So decay to decay. Now if I go in here, it should allow me to control the decay with that. And there you go. I just pretty much made my own Chorus Reverb plugin inside of FS Studio, and you see how super simple it is. Now you can go more advanced. This is super basic, bare bones, beginner level stuff right here that you can do with Patcher. Like I said, I'm gonna definitely show you more advanced stuff and how to make some actual plugins. I'm probably gonna be making some of my own and getting them away for free, of course. But yo, this is like I don't know why I haven't been using this more often. Now, also the good thing about uh, Patcher is that you can also do this with instruments. So you can actually open up Patcher inside of let's see where is it at yeah patcher should be right there and you can actually load in instruments and actually layer instruments and put effects on instruments right here so you can have like multiple effects or multiple in vsts and have them layer with each other inside of patcher and then route them to stuff stuff and do stuff like that and you can pretty much make your own synthesizer basically inside of patcher as well so as you can see patcher is a very powerful plugin it's very simple on like a basic level it may look complicated like i said you have probably seen some patches that are just all over the place yeah, it can be very complicated, but it can be very simple at the same time. And I hopefully opened your eyes to patch it with this because it opened my eyes and hopefully you'll start playing around patch and understand. Like I said, I do want to make more videos based around patch because I think patch is a very, very good tool in the arsenal. And I don't know why I haven't been loading my magazine up with uh, patch right now. using. So, yeah, like I said, that's just a very beginner entry level kind of introduction to patcher i will be having more videos in the future and i'll probably be doing like some plug-in channel i will get you guys to like uh give me challenges to make certain type of things and i'm gonna try to recreate them in patcher and then like give them away for the community and all that good stuff so yeah hopefully it's open your eyes hopefully you see the power of patcher and hopefully you start using patcher like say hey I'm a believer now and I'm going to start using this. So um, if you've been using Patrick, let me know in the description, in the comments below, or, or if you haven't tried it out, are you going to try it out now that you've seen this? I want to know and just discuss it in the comments below. So with that being said, y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Slim, aka Mr. Different, not motivated by the money, but the like, comment, subscribe, and views. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, make sure you subscribe, thumb the video up, and you know, I'll catch you guys in the next video because right now I'm out to make some more patches. So have a good one. Yeet.